Konnichiwa, what's up everyone? I'm in Tokyo, Japan, and it's a new year. That means new adventures, new me. Just kidding, not new me, you're stuck with me. But I got a new project rolling out for all of you. It's called Viking on Tour, and I can't wait to show you more. Where, where can I find the best sushi? Over there? Over there. It is a new year and as I promised I have a new project for you guys called Viking on Tour. And it might be familiar to some of you. Last year I started doing vlogs. Good morning guys! We're in California! Wild West! We're in China! At first it was weird holding this camera right here, uh, talking to myself, but it was actually kind of fun to give all of you guys a look at what I do when I travel around the world, compete, and go on adventures. So Viking on Tour is the vlog for 2019. Super excited to take you on new adventures and we're starting right here in Tokyo. So pitted, bro. So pitted. <laughs> ah. First thing we did when we got to the airport was check the webcams and uh, we saw the swell was on fire, not pumping. It was on fire in Shiba. had some epic sessions with our friend June at TED Surf. If you ever come to Japan, to Chiba, make sure to check out TED Surf Shop. It's one of the original ones. You might even meet the man, the myth, the legend, Jun Aragawa, the man that hosted us. Check out him and his family. They're all about the good spirit and good vibes in Japan. Thank you, Thanks, June. So the actual reason that we're here in Japan, it's not to go surfing, it's not to go get lost in Tokyo, what's happening right now, obviously. The real reason is to go find some deep, deep powder and go skiing. The mountains in Japan are supposed to be incredible and I look forward to trying it because you, you might not know this about me, but I actually grew up not just in Denmark, I grew up also in the mountains of France in a, a little tiny village called La Grave. A very, very special place to go backcountry skiing, mountaineering. And I'm kind of a little bit nervous. I'm very excited to go back to my roots and uh, explore that world of skiing again because it's pretty magical just like, just like surfing can be and paddling can be. Skiing is magical. But Japan is also full circle for me. This is where I won my first professional stand-up paddle World Cup back in 2016. This is the race of my life, I feel. To be here, racing against all my friends, all my hardest competitors is a dream come true. I'm so out of breath, but I'm so happy to win my first World Series event. It's where I had a breakthrough performance and got to uh, feel that I really belonged against the world's best paddlers in the world. And uh, every time I come back to Japan, I get this amazing feeling that this is where something big started. And who knows, maybe something big is starting again now. Before we head out, we gotta grab some gear. All right, so we're going rondinaying, touring, call it whatever you want. We're going to the back country of the mountains to have some fun in the snow. If you don't know what rondine and touring look like, it's something like this. Before we do that, we need these for powder. Boots, helmet, holes, key powder, let's go. We're at the train station. We got our equipment with us. Bunch of equipment. And uh, we're heading to the mountains, but it's a tiny, a little bit stressful right now, getting on the train with all this equipment. But we're excited. It's time to say bye-bye, Tokyo. And fan for all this here. Say we're cruising around 300 
kilometers an hour. I'm uh, doing emails while uh, flashing through Japan on a supersonic train. I'm not quite supersonic. But uh, you guys asked to see what it's like traveling with uh, equipment. I got my surfboards, foil boards. I got some ski bags, one, two, three ski bags up there. And uh, I'm trying to get a little bit of work done now because I have absolutely no confidence in myself to do any work later this week in the snow. Anyone wants to, if you want to come be my caddy, please be welcome. Oh. Mayhem. Holy shit. Welcome to my life. Right now we just arrived in Nagano, the Japanese Winter Olympic city. And it feels cold, which is good. And now we got to take the next train to Miyoko, Powder City. So after that crazy train ride, we made it to the mountains. There is a ton of snow. We're in Miyoko, Japan. And uh, just met up with the Danish boys, Nikolai and Mass from Shiro Experience. They're uh, gonna help us show us all the special nooks and crannies around here. When I go traveling around the world, I really enjoy getting some, some local perspective on the place I am and hopefully I'm not gonna get totally lost. We'll do our best not to, to get you completely lost out here. So uh, what's the plan for the next few days? Uh, well, basically just to find some, some good snow that Japan is famous for and some fun terrain, just to enjoy Japan, see it from its best side. <laughs> Viking on tour made it this far. I'm stoked to be back in the snow. Feels like a whole new world. But uh, here's a little teaser of what's going to happen in the next vlog of Viking on Tour. Whoa! Viking Airlines, here we go. 